him as such, and he would always tell me, stop doing that. Right? Don't, don't call me that. And I think for a lot of us that are still used to these titles, it's still that humility. So Mr. Mayor, I want to make sure I get it out as, many, as much as possible uh, so that you can still hang on to it, Mr. Mayor, that you're still sitting in that seat. Uh, uh, I do appreciate uh, the leadership and the project that you saw into completion, Mr. Mayor. Uh, for 2019, and uh, I, I just want to say that I, I'm very proud to be up here to be able to serve with you and, and to have served while you were there. So the one thing that I've, I've learned about Eggard is that um, in the last, especially in the last year, we've we've uh, traveled, we've gone to some conferences here, we spent more time together, and the one thing that I've learned about Eggard is he's very passionate about you. And um, I think that goes, you know, he's got three, three sons, and um, a lot of the things that happened this year were driven by his passion for the, for the youth of our valley and of our city. Um, our parks, our youth programs, um, the, uh, our new park that's, that's under construction right now, I think was all driven by his passion for our youth. And, and I think, you know, I, I give him a lot of credit and I commend him for his service. Um, his year, um, if, I, if I have something to take from it, his year as, as our mayor was really about the youth and the next generation of our, of our residents in El Centro. And for that, I thank you for your service. Mr. Mayor, I think maybe I can just add to the fact that for those of us that have been privileged and honored to be the, the mayor of El Centro, uh, it's sometimes it's a a rewarding job, but also a very difficult job sometimes, and you uh, carry that uh, to, to, uh, to a very elite status. Um, I concur with our council members, uh, the, your passion for the youth, your passion for downtown were evident in our discussions that we had, and um, you know, we, I look forward to working with you as our, as our past mayor to continue to provide uh, services to our community and services to our youth and I very, very, very much enjoy being a part of this team. So Mr. Mayor, we uh, had the opportunity to celebrate the accomplishments of the year under your leadership and we are thankful for that. Um, while we have a packed house though, I just want to mention one thing. Where's Abraham? Abraham and Norma. Okay. So we talked about the widening of the Bursary Avenue, okay? <coughs> Under the next mayor's leadership, we are going to be widening, or not widening, we're going to be extending <coughs> Imperial Avenue to the south, okay? There will be a period of time when you are not going to be able to access Interstate 8. So I am starting the yeah, I'm starting the campaign now because if you need to make phone calls, this is a rotation. So the new mayor will be accepting your phone calls, just as I know our mayor, like uh, like has been has been mentioned. It's it's sometimes a really a thank, thankless job because you're kind of like the point person out there. Um, so. Preview of coming attractions, um, Mr. Silva. <laughs> well, we're handing out his cell phone number during uh, the reception, just so you know. Um, uh, but, but I think the timeline that we expect for that project will carry forward to the next mayor. Oh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> let's hope indeed. We'll see how that goes. But, um, but Edgar, I just I just wanted to, to share with you um, how much it's meant to me as a as a council member under your, to serve with you as mayor and um, how much that has just, uh, I've looked up to you, wait, I look up to all of you, <laughs> um, how much I've appreciated you, but, but I want to say um, one of the things that has just really impressed me this whole year is the value that you place on your family and how that, that family has always been so important to you and they've, they've been there with us at our celebrations and I know that they've been with you um, at night when you come home from our long meetings and I know that they've been with you when you um, make the mistake of, of looking at social media and it's not always um, happy stuff. 
But you've, you've balanced being on the, the city council with being a successful small business owner and being an incredible husband and dad. And in that, in that, in that, in my mind, that makes you an incredibly talented and successful individual. So, thank you, and uh, congratulations on your. Life. I'd like to begin by saying that it has been my utmost privilege to serve this big city and its constituents in the role of mayor. And it's something that I will never forget. And it's something that does take a lot of time, but it's rewarding when we put shovels in the ground and we start seeing projects built. And that's something that I wanted to do from the moment that I decided to run for city council was to see something different. And I'll tell you that you walk into a job like this with a lot of expectations, but really no understanding of how the sausage is made. <laughs> <laughs> And none of this is possible without the amazing work of the staff and directors of the City of El Centro and the amazing work, dedication, diligence of the people that are sitting next to me today and the people who have sat next to me in the past. It has been an incredible journey this year. It has been difficult at times. However, we have persevered and we are starting to see the vision that we all planned on come to fruition. We are starting to see more projects, we are starting to see more parks, and with our Measure P funds, we will continue to work diligently in order to make this city the county seat and the gem of this county. We will continue to make projects not only looking at our individual constituents, but projects that could be enjoyed countywide. Now, I have to thank my lovely wife, Ari Garcia, and my sons, Alexander, Nathan, and Dominic, for putting up with the fact that I'm not a nine to five dad. And that is a difficult thing to contend with. But I tried to include them and to show them that with hard work, with dedication, and with a passion to help others, that is the ultimate reward in itself. And one day, I hope that they will be following in those footsteps and helping their constituents and their communities in order to make things better future generations. I thank all of you for being here. I thank all of the dignitaries here. And of course, our police chief, fire chief, everybody else who came out to attend this wonderful event. I know we have snacks outside, so I don't want to keep this too long. <laughs> but I will close in saying that, again, it has been utmost pleasure an honor to be the mayor of the Central. It's something that I will carry for the rest of my days. Thank you very much.